This video is kind of for myself, so I don't have to look up the directions on how to do this every time I hook up a new lighting system in my house. So here we have some wireless relays. Uh, so they control up to 240 volts uh, AC power, and they use 433 megahertz to control, turn these relays on and off. So here we got the relay, we got the power in and out, and we got the little wireless board here. This is a this can control four sets of lights. The problem with these, besides the fact that uh, they don't, well, this one came with an enclosure, that they don't come in with enclosures, is that uh, you need to power them with either 12 or 5 volts, depending on what model you buy, which is not practical when I'm trying to control the lights in my house, because I would have to get some sort of power adapter and all that. So, luckily, you can get these little devices, uh, which come with a nice little enclosure, although I do put them in an extra enclosure whenever I hook them up in walls or ceilings. And uh, you just run your 120 volts in and your 120 volts out to the first light in the line. And then you can control them with remote controls or they usually come with some sort of light switch like these ones here. This is a three gang one that just sticks to the wall and runs off a battery. I also have a uh, little ESP chip which is hooked to a 433 megahertz radio device so I can, through my Wi-Fi from my computer or my phone, control these devices. Uh, and I just want to go over how to program them very quickly because they can be, they can take more than one code. They cut code. They come pre programmed with whatever switch they come with, but you have this button here and you can program multiple codes into one device. So the way it works is if you want to clear out all codes, you press this button eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it should clear out all codes. Then to program a toggle button, so one button that turns it on and off, you press it twice, then you press the button you want to send, it records that signal, and then that button will turn the light on and off, which is great if you're at a switch right there at the light, you just need one button to turn it on and off. But if I'm going to use my computers to set timers to turn on some lights and turn them off at a certain time, or if I'm not at home and I want to make sure lights on or off, a toggle button, I don't know whether it's on or off because it's sending the same signal. Well, you can program them so they go into latch mode so you can have a button for on and a button for off or a code that you're sending from your computer or mobile device. And the way you program that is you hit this twice, or sorry, three times, and then a button for on and a button for off, and then this button will turn it on always, and this button will turn it off always, and I can program uh, my phone or computer to send that signal so that I can set cron jobs or from my mobile device uh, send signals to turn lights on or off. So again, to clear out all codes, press the button eight times. To set toggle mode, hit the button twice, and then hit the button that you want to control uh, for toggle. If you want to do latch mode, it's three times, and then a button for on, and a button for off, and then you have the codes for on and off. And I don't know how many codes uh, one device can hold, but uh, usually you have uh, just a few in there, but I think it can hold quite a few uh, codes. So, uh, also, I live in a very rural area. If you live in a city or even the suburbs, you probably don't want to go with 433 megahertz devices because they're not encrypted. They're just basically sending a string of uh, numbers um, and anybody with a few dollars can record those and then send those signals out and turn your lights on and off. Um, I live in a very rural place. There's nobody around me. The odds of someone coming by and sniffing these and then sticking around to turn my lights on and off is highly unlikely. But if you're in a more uh, suburbs or city area, you probably want to go with something with Wi-Fi that is uh, encrypted or there's other devices out there. They just tend to be a lot more expensive than these. These are a few dollars for both the device and the buttons to turn them on and off. So I just want to go over that because every time I hook up one of these I've got to go and go how many times do I press the button to do this and how many times do I press the button to do that? Uh, but now I have a video that I can reference and if you ever get, and this is just one brand, but there's just, if you search on Amazon 433 megahertz uh, relays or light switches, you will find these sort of things, although these aren't, they, they come with these switches. And again, you have to hook these up in line, usually in the wall or ceiling by the first light. Uh, I have no clue if you could hook these up. I don't think you can to the actual switch gang box because you need both lines going in and lines going out and usually switches just have the one line in and one line out, if you understand what I'm saying. If not, then you're probably not going to do this. Anyway, thanks for watching FilmsbyChris.com. I hope that you have a great day.